Hey, how's it going? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to add a print icon to your websites using HTML, CSS and a bit of JavaScript, all right? So I'm going to be showing you right now what this looks like on the screen so you can see. And we're going to be starting from scratch in this HTML document to, of course, add the print icon to this page. So heading inside the index HTML right here, I've got nothing. Uh, within this code. So the first step is going to be to uh, use the Google Material Symbols library because we need to have a print icon on the page for the user to click on. So I'm going to be leaving this linked down below. And of course, once you open it up, you should be able to see this screen right here. And these are all uh, open source icons for you to use on your website, um, including, of course, the print icon. So if I do a search for print right up here, I'll just zoom in a little bit. We can see here we have all of these icons matching the keyword print. And of course, we want to use this print icon right here. So I'll click on this one and then on the right side here. Uh, you should be able to see um, you've got a bunch of options for importing that on your page. So I'm going to scroll down to the static icon font. This is the most straightforward way to begin using these icons. So I'll copy this right here, then go back inside the HTML. And I'm just going to paste this inside the head. So now I can begin using Google's material symbols library. So going back inside the browser here, it also shows you how to use the print icon. So I'm going to copy this right down here, just like that, then go back inside the HTML here, and just create a new button with a type of button and a also um, a class of btn dash print, then within this button, we're going to place the icon because um, you know, ideally, you're not supposed to treat spans as buttons. So we need to wrap the span tag, which of course is the icon within a button itself. And the user is going to be clicking on the button and not the icon, if that makes sense. So um, if I was to save this here and go back in the browser, we've got this right here. Now on your screen, it's going to look a lot smaller, most likely because I'm zoomed in right now so you can see it. But the point is, you've got an icon inside a button and it's that easy to do it. Okay. But now we need to, of course, make the icon work, but also add a few styles to make it look nice. So within the CSS here, I'm going to target the class of btn dash print, then within here, give this a width and height of 40 pixels, and a display of flex, a justify content of our center, and an align items of center. So these three properties are going to ensure that your icon in the button uh, is in the center vertically and horizontally. If I save this, go back in the browser, we get a much bigger button and the icon is centered perfectly. Okay, cool. Going back inside here now, we're going to also specify a background of transparent on the button itself and also a border radius of 50%. Of course, we can't yet see the border radius, but we're going to see it once we hover over the button, which I'll get to very shortly. I'm going to also set an outline of none, a border of none, and a cursor of pointer. If I save this, go back in the browser here, we get not much change aside from the background being gone. But also if I hover over it, we get the uh, different, you know, cursor. Um, alongside uh, the button. So now one of the last things to do is going to be to change the background of the button when you hover over it. So I'll copy the class right up here, then paste it, then say colon hover. And we'll just say here background as uh, triple E for a very light gray. I'll save this, go back in the browser here, hover over and we get something like this. So now we can see why that border radius of 50% was added. And that gives us a circle around the background. So now, of course, if I was to click on this icon, nothing happens just yet. So let's use some JavaScript to make it work. Going back inside VS Code here, the easy way of doing this is to simply add an on-click attribute 
on the button itself to say print just like that. It's going to work, but there are many people who would say that having an on click as an attribute is not the best way to write your JavaScript code. So I'll show you an alternative very shortly, but if I go back in the browser here, click on the button, we get the print dialog. So it really is that simple guys, you simply add the uh, on click listener to your button. When you click on it, it's going to print. And to be honest, if you want, you could probably avoid the icon entirely and just put the text of print just like this inside your button, all right? But the second way to do this using JavaScript would to simply be, um, you know, hopping down here inside your script tag. I'll just get rid of this on click right up here. Then say something like uh, const btn print equal to document.query selector, getting the button by its class name by saying btn print inside here. Then simply saying btn print uh, dot add event listener when the user clicks on the button. We're going to run this function, which is going to simply say window.print just like that. I'll save this, go back in the browser here and we can see upon clicking, we get the exact same result. So of course it is up to you guys as to what you wanna do. I would say, you know, stick to the uh, proper JavaScript code right down here in order to add your, uh, you know, print uh, reaction on, on the click there. So that is how to add a print icon to your websites using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.